Hi everyone, how was today? <laughs> how was it? Oh wait, it's, it's just starting for you guys. Anyway, it's evening here, so yeah. Um, I'm going to send in my notes now, so we can take a look. There's not like a lot on the agenda, but yeah, we just have to look at like the review of the released metrics. And then, um, is it please? Why do we have a question mark? Okay. We would have to look at the sponsorship docs so we can maybe answer the questions that are asked there. Um, can we yeah. share the screen? I think that's the only one that has. Yeah, so that first one, um, Oma and Precious have been going through these older metrics and um, I'm putting them into Markdown and um, submitting the PRs and then they're reviewing the PRs for me. But um, I'm still working on that. Some of them I've finished already. Um, sponsorship, I noticed, had a few questions. So I, I added that on here on the agenda. Just I thought maybe um, we should talk about this. Um, I, I personally think that this is a confusing metric. And I would really like to hear what others have, <clears throat> especially with regard to these questions. Um, I don't know. For me, it's confusing. But maybe it's just me. Um, there was just a couple here about like how people know about sponsors within the company. Like it's confusing for me to um, this whole concept of sponsorship, I guess. And I didn't know if it was confusing for others. So that's kind of why I was like, yeah, let's talk about this. Does anybody else have something contrary to say, like, what do we understand by the sponsorship document? Like, what can we say about it? Are there any confusion? It's like, do we find it confusing to, like, um, Elizabeth does? Because, like, for me, Sponsorship, when I hear the word sponsorship, I think of like a conference where you're giving money to something, but I don't, I think that's obviously something completely different than this. And I don't know if, um, if it's just that I'm old and <laughs> so I, I don't know what, you know, I don't know what, what the young cool kids do. Uh, uh, they're calling it sponsorship, but like in chaos, we don't have people who, you know, are like official sponsors. Oh, Christy, do you need access to this doc? <coughs> I have updated the piece. So I think we should have access right now. Sorry, I didn't realize that. Oh, I see. Uh, ed editor, there we go. That's the doc we're looking at. Christy, does it work now? Can you check? It's like this concept of like sponsorship versus mentoring, like that whole thing is confusing to me. And maybe I need to read this article here that we're talking about. Maybe I should do that. <laughs> so I know actually well, it, what. Does that thing define their stuff? I think, I think the difference between a mentor and a sponsor is like a mentor kind of like can be from outside, like it's written there, so can be from outside, anybody. And then they like guide you and tell you what to do. But a sponsor is kind of like someone who speaks for you within the organization and like makes climbing up a little easier, sort of. So do we want to build this out a little more? with regard to your questions here, Precious, I, we could maybe give a little more um, information, like you said, about notifying or like communicating to existing members that that's something that's available. Like maybe we need to have a little more context 
here. I'm not sure. Help me to that. Do we just write sponsorships are available in chaos or? <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how we can flesh that out. Does anybody have um, suggestions on how we could write, how we could add, maybe add it to the doc or should it be on the handbook, something like that? <clears throat> okay, that's the problem. Um, one thing I wanted to mention about the difference between a sponsor and a mentor is a sponsor is usually someone who can help you in your career. Because for you, or a mentor may not help yourself and to improve. Did any of that go through? Kind of. Um, kind of. You're really breaking up, Amy. Okay. Um, so as far as the skills to mentor you, to have the ability to speak on your behalf, like this person's a really good per candidate for this role type of thing. Um, should we add that to like the definition? Elizabeth, like, do you think we should add it to the definition or I should just keep it as a comment and maybe we'd figure out how to add it later? Do we add it now? I mean, if it's clear to everybody else here, the difference about uh, mentorship versus sponsorship, then that's completely fine. It's just me <laughs> that has a mental block against it for some reason. Um, so we can leave it as it is. And then um, as far as like these questions, were Precious, actually, I have a question about that. Were these um, questions about the chaos community? Like if chaos has sponsors, or is this something to go into the metric for everybody, for anyone? Who no, wants to? It, it was for chaos. I want to understand how exactly the new users know that um, sponsorship is available and how do they get access to sponsors? Yeah, I don't know that we actually have an official sponsor thing in chaos, do we? We have, <laughs> we don't have sponsors for individuals. There is a sponsor flag at the top of some of our repositories where you can give money through some GitHubian me mechanism, but that's not directed at individuals. Well, and that is different because like this, it seems like the definition of sponsorships here doesn't have anything to do with money at all. It's more of like yeah. helping people advance in their career. So mm -hmm. that that's the piece that confuses me is the terminology that's used to describe that role of someone who is like an advocate for someone within the community. Yeah, I think I think versus Amy, like giving money. Amy was trying to explain the distinction, and I, I mean, I think I think I get it. Like mentorship, if if I can paraphrase, mentorship is more informal. They'll help. Um, but sponsorship is, is somebody who actually advocates, like sponsorship is proactive, it's advocating. I think that last sentence at the top of paragraph one where someone within a community who put the reputation on the line to create opportunities for the sponsee to move up in the community. So, um, so sponsorship is a deeper commitment in this context, but I haven't personally used anything like this or put it into practice. So I don't, I don't fully understand how it might work. <clears throat> well, on that note, is this something that chaos might be looking forward to doing or should we like postpone it to the future or something? So, this might be related to, to this particular 
um, idea, but later in the agenda, I've added these two docs down here, path to leadership and roles and responsibilities. So maybe that's something that we bring up when we're going through these two docs, because these two docs are really outdated. Um, so maybe that's an idea we can float there. What do you think, Precious? Do you think that would work? Mm, is there a link to these docs? I can't tell. Which. Is it the sponsorship doc that you're talking about that is outdated? Yeah, we don't, we don't really have, uh, yeah, so not to jump around, but like in roles and responsibilities, like that's not really listed anywhere. So um, maybe we can put that in here as to be a sponsor of someone. I don't, I'm not sure where that would fit, but we could maybe make a note that that's something that we would maybe want to think about doing. Yes, yes, I think that makes sense. What does everyone okay. mean? <laughs> okay, so for now I'm gonna, uh, approve that and then um, did we want to say anything here about interviewing like how we usually say here are some examples you know we don't really have a little nice intro blurb right here under that heading do we need one here does does anyone know what I'm talking about like in this metric we just kind of jump in like we don't really have like a here are some example questions like we do in other metrics. Oh, well, yeah, I think, that, I think that works. I think it's also actually going to help you understand exactly what you're getting in. Yeah. Okay, so should I, should I just accept this and mark it as resolved then we're gonna leave it as is, is that? For the metric? Well, I think the questions that, that are there now are for people who would have participated, because it's saying in what ways has the sponsorship program helped you become more successful? So we're asking the questions with the assumption that you've actually gone through the sponsorship. So in cases where, in this case where we've actually never done it in chaos before, I feel like this should be more introductory. So something like, okay. why would you sponsor? what would you expect from the sponsor or something like that okay okay so maybe i'll build that out a little bit i can take that action item to just kind of put something in there as like a little explanation thing thank you Add a few sentences okay um, okay, and then the other question I had on this section, this air, this section that we're talking about right now, is burnout. Um, so the the metric is fine, but we do have an issue in the DEI, um, uh, the DEI working group. Uh, let me find it here really quick. Here it is. About renaming that to maintain our wellness. And since we're reviewing these metrics right now, I wasn't sure if that's something we wanted to bring up again. Um, it's from a few months ago, but um, it would be great to kind of get people's thoughts, I think, on that. Since we're looking at these metrics again anyway, uh, what do we think about renaming Project Burnout to maintain our wellness? Here's a link to that if we want to look at it. <clears throat> Does anybody have thoughts? Should we just leave it as project burnout and just put in the issue we talked about it and decided it was fine? <laughs> it's so uh, I think that I, go ahead. So, Sorry. Okay. Hi, everyone. I, I think it depends on the scope of the project. Um, if we are focusing on how to um, treat burnout, and um, that's what, what our major focus is, then probably we should stick to project burnout. Maintainer well, well-being is kind of broad, and um, it speaks to many areas of well-being. So.
So project burnout is probably more well known, but if you think about the two statements, one of them is a, kind of perceived as a negative, it's burnout. The other one is wellness, which is a positive. You're talking about wellness. So it's also, I think, depends on the metric and what its focus is, whether we want to bring attention to the negativeness of burnout or more of a positive spin as to wellness. I think too, um, yes, I agree with you, Amy. And I also um, think that when we were looking at the questions that are asked, it's about the, we are asking about the well being of the contributors and maintainers in order to understand how the project is set up for burnout. So um, I don't know. I kind of I see both sides of it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, what do we ask like people in the community to say like the first thing that came to their mind when they hear project burnout and then like when they hear maintainer wellness? I think depending on the answers, it helps us know if it's um, it goes towards exactly what we're trying to do in project, project burnout. Like you said, are we trying to do a generic check on how is everybody in the community or just person on on out? So I think depending on the answers that we get, it could help us know, oh, this one is everybody that was looking out for like, the whole health like, generally. And then this one just checks who are being specific to burning out. Should we just drop a quick, uh, maybe a quick question in the DEI Slack or in the general chaos Slack of what people think of when they hear project burnout versus maintainer wellness? Or what would you, what, what do you think would be good, Precious? I think I think we should make it in the general, we should put it in the general chat called like where everybody is. Okay, let's do that. I'll give myself an action item to just drop it in. Okay. Oops. Yeah, Christy likes the wellness title. It sounds more positive. Okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Christy says her mic's not working. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so that was really um, the only big things. The others are minor <laughs> changes that will, well, I'll put in the repo for the translations and everything else because. Um, Precious and Oma actually did all the work here, so I <laughs> just want to make sure that they get the credit for that. Um, so yeah, that's all for that one. So, um, Precious, I can I can talk about the next one if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> I put that on the agenda. <laughs> yeah, talk about. Thank you. Awesome. So. Um, we in the value working group um, are gonna be shifting more towards um, value that would be around what OSPOs or open source project, open source program offices uh, would be interested in measuring. And so there was this focus area that was previously in value called societal value. And these were the metrics we had thought, the ideas that we had thought of for that. And we thought it would belong really well in the DEI working group. Um, it actually made more sense to put it here, we thought. So we have a new focus area in the DEI working group called societal value. Um, and we don't have any of these metrics defined yet, um, probably because they're hard. <laughs> they're really hard to measure, like if you know it's not something you can just grab. So 
Um, these are going to take some deep thoughts from us, <laughs> um, but we did want to let everybody know that they're there now. Um, and so if you look in the metrics tracking sheet, there is this uh, extra focus area down here called societal value. So, um, you know, if anybody has any thoughts on how these things could be measured, um, you know, we can absolutely build out any of these metrics, actually any of these ideas we have. We have a lot of ideas in DEI working group, <laughs> um, but I did want to just bring attention to that, that those, those are the ideas we had from value and now they're in the DEI working group. So there you go. And I, I also added the next item too, <laughs> Precious, I can, I can talk about that also if you like, if nobody has any questions or comments about that societal value stuff. By people, do you mean people in, like in general, the whole world, like specific to the community in particular? Okay, um, so I'll go ahead and just talk about these two things also. So in the process of Ruth and Shoya updating the community handbook, um, these two documents have kind of floated to the surface. We brought this up in the community meeting yesterday and we thought um, we want to get a broad people's uh, a broad pool of collaborators, I should say, on these two documents because they they just need updated, they need revised. They're they're just old, so and they're no they don't really I don't think um, are accurate to like what the actual path to leadership is now and things like that. So um, I don't know if we want to take a few minutes and look at these. If you all want to do this on your own, um, that's also fine because these are pretty. You know, pretty heavy. If you just want to add your um, your comments, we are we're kind of expecting that we will get a lot of comments and a lot of collaboration on this. So just make sure that you're suggesting, making suggestions, and not direct edits into this. Because also Ruth and Shoya want to keep track of what things are changed um, yeah. from here to the to the actual doc in the repo. So yeah. Um, do you, what do you all want to do? Do you want to uh, look at these right now? I can pause the recording if we want to look at these. And we have a little bit of time. We don't have anything else, I don't think, on the agenda. All right, let's do that. Let's just take a few minutes and like read through here and add some suggestions. I'll drop these links again in the chat. Um, so this is the path to leadership. And this is the roles and responsibilities. And even if you're new to the chaos community, like that, your <clears throat> feedback here is really super valuable because you know, as a newcomer, you want to know these things. And so what like it's really helpful if you can tell us like what's not clear or you know what what would be confusing for someone who's new to the community and then if, of course if you're you've been in the chaos community for a little while you will be able to see kind of what um what doesn't really match up with our reality <laughs> based on how we are and maybe there are things that we need to improve in the community and that's completely fine too um so yeah so i'm just gonna pause the recording if I can figure out how, here we go. Pause share now. Pause ready. Um, we're back recording, but we're, we moved on for anybody who's watching the video. Uh, we're now looking at some of the things that are in progress because we have some new members that are interested in contributing to some metrics. And so um, specifically under project and community, we have these two that we have listed in, in progress but they've kind of stalled. So um, usually what we do is when we're working on a metric, 
we have a template that we start with and then we um, kind of build out the sections. So this is a metric that we have had started working on way back a long time ago. <laughs> and then it kind of just um, stalled because we got onto other things. So um, what we'll do is if, if Lemmy, if you would like to come into this document, I'll put, the, put it in the chat. We can also put it in the notes too. If this is something that would be interesting to you or um, this code of conduct enforcement, um, I don't even know if we've gotten that far to even get a, do a document going. Oops, oops, well, now I'm on the wrong sheet. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I don't have access. Okay. So that is something that um, we need to maybe redo and look at. I don't even know where this has landed. If anybody remembers, I don't know. <clears throat> So those were the two we were working on. Is there, are, Lammy, were there others in this list that you were maybe interested in starting work on? Uh, I was looking at psychological safety, but it, it's on, it's um, colored green now, so I think it's not available for. Oh uh, yeah. I would go through them again and <clears throat> see. Okay. But yeah, this is can, where you would find some ideas. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah, you're welcome. And that was a fantastic question. So um, also welcome to the DEI working group. Thank you. <laughs> so, and also if anybody's interested in looking at other working groups, I don't know what sheet eight is. I feel like that was a mistake. Sean, should we delete that? Yeah, totally. It's just blank. Okay, I feel like that was. Yes, I think that was a mistake. Okay. Sorry, whoever put that in there. <laughs> if it wasn't a mistake, you'll have to redo it. <laughs> <laughs> but these are our other, for, for anyone else who is not familiar with this sheet, here are other working groups. We have common. So there's a bunch of metrics under that. We have risk, which is another working group besides DEI. And they have a bunch of metrics for them. And value, which is where the, those societal ones were under. You can see we've kind of shifted focus to other things. And then metrics models is where we keep all of the, um, the models of where we take a bunch of different metrics and we put them together to create a bigger picture. So like um, community activity, for instance, like this is pulling from metrics from different working groups to put it into kind of a, a better package for more context around the thing that you're trying to measure. So if you wanna measure community activity as a whole, well, you're gonna to need to look at a few different metrics to do that. And so like these would be the, um, you know, the metrics you would use, if that makes sense. All right, so I think we were kind of at the end of the agenda. I don't know, Precious, was there anything else you wanted to bring up? Oh, no, I didn't have anything extra. But we need to decide who would like to facilitate next week. Yeah. I can do it. I will also yield to anyone else who wants to. Does <laughs> <laughs> anyone else want to speak to? I think put my name down, but somebody else can go in there and edit it later if they want to. Okay, I guess we're all set then. We're all done. I'm going to stop recording.